I played against the European Championships 2018 winner Arno Merkle today and Hello guys and welcome to day 3 of my Swedish Open um, vlog series. I just woke up and today is the day where I will have my match against Arno Merkle. I'm going to pack my stuff, eat breakfast and then head to the hall to warm up and then, yeah, and, and then play my match. Wish me luck guys. Also, thanks for all the support on Instagram and YouTube. I see all of that. All the people wishing me luck, supporting me. I'm very thankful for that. As you can see, I finished packing my bag. Also, I have here my food. And the thing to put my handy on to film the match. But uh, that being said, a lot of you guys told me that they would like to see more strategies on YouTube so that I post more videos about strategies in badminton and how to analyze opponents and so on. So maybe after the match or when I'm back in Germany I do a video about how I analyzed Arno Merkel, how I manage to see what his strengths and his weak points are and so on and how I manage to find the strategy. Um, with which I'm actually gonna play him. But uh, that being said, of course a good strategy and a good analysis doesn't mean that you automatically win. Even if you know the strengths of your opponent, it can be that you still lose. Knowing them helps, definitely, but it doesn't secure a safe victory. That also depends a lot of on your skills. Of course I'm still the underdog and Arno Merkel is a favorite to win because I just made a good analysis. This will help me to have a chance against him. Now that I packed my stuff, I'm going to quickly shower and eat breakfast. So guys, I have to hurry up. The shuttle bus is already coming and everyone is waiting downstairs. And also I wanted to give the Singaporean Batman trainer something for my coach. He knows him, a present I bought in Germany. And I don't know if I see him in the tournament I, and I want to do that quickly now that they're waiting for the shuttle bus. And of course I want to use the shuttle service as well. I don't want to pay for a taxi because I actually think I actually paid also for the shuttle service. Or oh, it was for free, I don't remember. That's the hall I'm going to play in in a couple of hours. I played against the European Championships 2018 winner Arno Merkel today and I lost. He is a stronger player than me, I have to admit that. I still have a bit of a way to go if I want to make it to the international top or at least, you know, my goal is top 200. I need to make some international on international tournaments some semi-final or final finishes to get my world ranking points, to get a better world ranking. But I'm seeing some development in my game, especially compared to my performance from last week on the Northern German Senior Championships, where I did a ton of easy mistakes. This match was much, much better. So I'm happy with that. 
although I lost my focus in the second game and I could have done better I think. I still am happy with the match overall because I had a good first game, like my first set of the match was good I think, I performed well, I managed to pressurize Arno Merkel several times, but also what I noticed is that my stamina is still bad, I guess it's normal because you know I'm just two, two or three, not sure, two or three weeks out of my injury, training hard again. But man, getting good stamina takes for sure a lot of time. But um, that being said, obviously I didn't lost because of that. It just added to um, to the pressure already Merkel could do on me with the quality of the shots and his footwork. Uh, yeah, because I don't know. In the second game, I also felt a little bit out of energy, and I. I didn't watch the match yet, but actually I don't think that you should be tired after the first game. I don't think we had that much long rallies. I don't want to exaggerate. I wasn't like, ooh, damn, I, I'm dying or so. But after the match, I had so much headache because of tiredness. That just shows that uh, I'm not that fit at the moment. Yeah. Also, his net play troubled me a lot. I would say that I'm still happy with the match, just like I said. Also, this was a good way to see at which level I'm currently at, so that my coach and I can now see, check and see what an European champion and international tournament winner, what's the difference between us, what am I missing, what do I need to work on, so that we can make a plan to improve my performance on the coming international tournaments. For example, in February, I have the Uganda International where I want to perform well. I think that's a good chance. There won't be as many strong opponents as they are in the Swedish Open. And I want to get as many world ranking points as possible and hopefully make a semi-final appearance. That would be really good. That would get me 1,700 points or 1,500, but uh, still, a lot of points. I think I need about 7200 to make the world ranking 280 or 250 cut. That would be okay for me if I end the year with that. Top 200 or top 200 or top 300, that would still be a very good result. I think that was definitely a great experience to play a European champion, just like I said, to see at which level I'm at. And um, I'm gonna upload the match of me playing against Arno Merkel I had today on YouTube. As you guys see this vlog, it's already online. I'm going to link the video from the match down in the description below. So if you want to see the match, feel free to check it out. Also, uh, a little story. After the match, I wanted to go back and I want to call a taxi. And, and like, what the hell? I just show you some footage and I don't need to tell you anything here, wait. So guys, I've been walking around 20 minutes or so. First I was at the wrong entrance because I ordered the taxi. But actually I have no idea if I'm now correct. Like it's raining, it's cold. I don't want to wait half an hour here. It, I ordered the taxi 10 minutes ago and it said it comes in 10 minutes. And I don't know if I'm correct here, it's kind of like a park, if here really taxis come or... Damn, Sweden raining all day and my taxi is still not coming. You know what, I'm gonna walk to a street now. And all the taxi there. Or I just walk back to the hotel. It's 20 minutes. I mean, if I stand around for one hour, I can also just walk 20 minutes in the rain. That's way better. Before I catch a cold, you know. Yeah. What the fuck? So, so guys, I'm back at the hotel now. Uh, my taxi didn't come, so I just walked back. Dude, my hands. Do you see that? They're really red. 
they hurt so much. It was snowing, really freezing. Yeah. Damn, I was forgot that I have to wait two hours after my match in case of a doping control, but actually I don't care anymore. Well, as you probably saw, it was actually not so lovable. It was, to be honest, pretty shitty. Like, I don't know, I could have get the shuttle bus or maybe at the reception, but I was already so wet from all this raining, waiting 20 minutes outside. And I was like, I'm already wet and I can also just walk the 20 minutes to the hotel. It was kind of like torture again, but I was just like, fuck it, I don't care anymore. And I'm not sick, so I made it without getting sick. I can tap myself on the back for that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to fly back to Germany if possible. If not, I will fly on Sunday. I have a special option that I can change my flights, but I have to call the airline. And if it doesn't work, I stay some days in Sweden. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Take care and bye.